Hello! Welcome to Rorigami Games' first art tutorial. My name's Walter, and I'm here to teach you how we animate in Photoshop. In this video, I'll show you an introduction to setting up hotkeys, how to animate frame by frame, then exporting your animation into a nice little GIF. So, let's get started and launch Photoshop. Let's make a new dock. Pick whatever size. I generally prefer horizontal rectangle canvases to optimally utilize the screen size. I'm gonna name it Animation Tutorial. Enter, and voila! Our horizontal canvas. Now, let's get on to the first bullet point, Intro to Keyboard Shortcuts. Click on Edit, Keyboard Shortcuts. This window appears, where you can set up all your hotkeys. For now, let's just set up 5 small hotkeys for animating. Click on Panel Menu, then drop down Animation Frames. Here we go. So, for first frame, I put in F5. Next frame, I put in F4. Previous frame, I put down F3. First frame, F1. And last frame, F2. You can type in whatever you want, but these are just my hotkeys. Click OK, then our animation hotkeys are set. Now there may be instances where your Photoshop doesn't have this animation frames tabs open or set properly. If so, click on this button here which toggles between timeline animation and frame animation. So now with our hotkeys, pressing F5 makes new frames. F3 goes to previous frames, F4 to next frames, F1 brings you to the first frame, F2 puts you on the last frame. Shift click selects multiple frames, then click on the trash can to delete. On the right side, under the layers tab, click on the new layer button to add a new layer. The hotkey for new layer is Control L, then enter. We want new layers to separate elements from each other. So the first thing I do on my first layer is draw the outline pose of whatever I want to animate. Press B for the brush tool. Press D to have black ink. And now you're ready to draw. I'll be animating a dancing sumo man. So here goes. Oh yeah, another important hotkey is E for the eraser. I treat the eraser like a brush to mold out the lines or shapes I make with the actual brush. Once you're finished with your first frame, you'll want to make a layer for your next keyframe. Since my character is pretty much symmetrical to both design and movement, I'm just gonna duplicate the layer by click and drag in it to the new layer button below. Now the copied layer appears above the original layer. Control T to transform the layer. I want the copied pose to be mirrored into the dance, so I just have to make the some minor adjustments to position the feet together. Enter to confirm transformation. There. Now our frame A and frame B poses are ready. Now let's tween the poses together. First, we have to give frame A and frame B different transparencies. Click V for the move tool, then type any number from 0 to 100 to change a layer's opacity. This is called onion skinning. 
I like giving frame B a higher opacity. Now let's make the in-between layer. Now we're ready to start drawing in between the lines. Oh yeah, let's rename the layers first so things won't get confusing. Double click on the layer name to rename it. Okay. Okay. Click on the eyeball beside the layer to hide it. And there's our tweened layer. Let's max out the opacity of all layers, and let's set up the animation to see how it looks so far. Frame 1, make only layer 1 visible. Press F5, frame 2, layer 2, then frame 3, layer 3, then frame 4, layer 2 again. Now press spacebar to see your character come to life. Ah oh, yeah. Oh yeah, your Photoshop might have some frames default set in 10 seconds with no loop. To fix that, click on the time at the bottom of the frames to set them to the desired time, delay or no delay. To make it loop, Click on the word below frame 1 and set it to forever. Now, you basically know how to animate in Photoshop. Of course, smoother animations require more frames. So let's add more tweens between the frames. Here, you'll see me filling the character with color. But, I'm not going to teach you the coloring techniques just yet. I'll save it for the next tutorial, so be sure to come back till then. When it's all colored, set the animation up one more time. Play to see if it's smooth enough or if there's any noticeable flaws. If it's all good, we're ready to export as a GIF. Click Ctrl.
Control Alt Shift S to save for web and devices. Make sure the upper right corner is preset to GIF. Play for preview, then click save and save it to the desired folder. Yeah! Now, find the file on your computer. Here you go. Ta-da! You have yourself a GIF. You can drag it to your web browser to view it, and you can also upload it online. Oh yeah! And that concludes our Photoshop animation tutorial. The name's Walter from Origami Games, and I'll see you in our next tutorial.